was a smoker for many years. Um, I smoked a lot, probably two packs a day, about seven years. One day my buddy comes over with this cool looking vaporizer thing. I'd never seen anything quite like it before. It was a Vamo for the Pro Tank on it. I took a puff. And I was like, man, this is awesome. This doesn't burn your throat. Doesn't give you a headache. Doesn't cause any of the stuff that smoking does. And I, I didn't know that at the time, but just the flavor and and the way that the vapor came out, it was it was something new and un, uh, unlike anything I'd ever seen before. So I had to get one. Went out and I got myself a mechanical with the dripper and got all the high-tech gadgets and then I figured out how hard it was to build, man. There's so much stuff to building and it's it's exciting. I've been a machinist for seven years. I've worked on lathes, mills, turning machines, um, grinders, all kinds of cool stuff and it, it excites me. I've always loved working with metal and designing things from nothing, building building parts that have a function. And it's, it's, it's my passion at this point. It's, it's what drove me to build an atomizer like this. Is I had the knowledge, I knew how to make these things, and I came up with a great idea, and it, it turned out. So I, I have a lot to thank as far as my machining background. It's, it's done me a lot of good. My grandfather was always a big inspiration to me. I didn't know the man. He, he died when I was very young, but I, I got some of his notebooks and some of his, his sketches of inventions that he'd done for unusual products he had. Um, things for diabetics, he had things for elderly people, just, just random little things that would help somebody out. And I took a lot of inspiration from that. I, and I started to wonder, why, do, why doesn't anybody have a product that allows you to vape at high watts, 30 watts, 40 watts, without having to drip all day? And I searched for weeks, I tried to find all kinds of different products, and I did turn up a few neat ones. Uh, the 3D was a good one, the T1 tank was another good one. Those were my main inspirations. They were made by uh, great builders. They were great products. And, um, you know, like, like everything, standing on the shoulders of giants, we come out with better products and create new inventions. And I, I think that's, that's what we've got here. At Subwoom Innovations, we got lots of crazy ideas. This was one of them. Everybody liked it. We liked it. So we went with it. And we've got plenty more crazy ideas coming up as far as mods and atomizers. Um, I can't tell you too much, but trust me, they're unusual. I think you'll like them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your big drippers if you've got one. If you don't, you should run out and get one at GrandVaporStation.com. They're a great buy, not too bad of a price, and uh, they'll keep you from dripping and driving. So not too bad of a deal there.